Every Blender user has gone through this process before, which is trying to import multiple files, assets, models, HDRIs and so on to your project and having to go through the menu, import, decide which type of the asset or model you want to import, navigate to it and then rinse and repeat. If only there is a way to import stuff without having to go through all this hassle. Well, fear not, because today we have the perfect solution for this problem, and it is called drag and drop import. Drag and drop import is an add-on that simplifies the process of importing files into Blender by allowing you to simply drag and drop anything you want into the software by just dragging them from your file explorer and dropping them into Blender's 3D viewport or outliner. For now, the add-on only works in Windows and supports most of the main file types like FBX, GLB, OBJ, X3D, ABC, STL, and much more. It also supports Blend files, MP4, EXR, and even PSD. Some of the add-on's most notable features are the ability to either use the default import settings or customize them while importing. For instance, using only the left-click button will import files with the default import parameters for that particular file type, but if you want to customize the import settings, you can either use the right mouse button when importing or click Ctrl when dragging and dropping them with the left-click. Another extremely useful feature is image importing. We all know that sometimes you may want to import images as references, other times as planes, or maybe as backgrounds, whichever case might be. The add-on allows you to customize that when dragging and dropping while holding control, and you can choose from the menu which import parameters you want, which just makes a lot of sense. I think this outright should be the default in Blender. Talking about making something the default option, this add-on allows you to import multiple files. That's right. You will be able to import multiple files by just dragging and dropping them into Blender. The great thing is, if the files are all the same type, you can customize the import process. In case the files are not the same type, everything will be imported with the default settings. Additionally, dragging and dropping folders also import all of their content to Blender. And if there are nested folders inside, all of their content will be imported as well and it will be organized by collections according to their order in the original folder. Last but not least, you can also import VDB sequences by dragging and dropping, which also applies to a folder or multiple VDB files, as well as HDR and EXR files, which will be automatically set up as a scene HDR when dropping them inside Blender. So if you want to take a look at this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of Blender and 3D in general. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.